Have you ever wondered how one of the world's most diverse countries, Indonesia, came into existence? Our journey begins in the misty realms of prehistory, when the first hominids set foot on this archipelago. The arrival of Homo erectus, also known as Java Man, around one and a half million years ago, marks one of the earliest chapters of human history in the region. As eons passed, these early inhabitants adapted and evolved. The dawn of agriculture ushered in a new era of stability and growth. Rice cultivation, in particular, played a pivotal role in shaping the society and culture. It was during this period that we see the birth of early kingdoms, establishing the roots of a civilization. These humble beginnings, from the arrival of the first hominids to the establishment of early kingdoms, were the first steps in a historical journey. These early steps set the stage for the complex societies that would later emerge in the Indonesian archipelago. Now, imagine a time when the archipelago was dotted with powerful kingdoms and empires. The Srivijaya Empire, a maritime glory, rose to prominence in the 7th century. It was a hub of Buddhist learning and a vital center for, for trade. This empire's influence extended beyond its physical boundaries shaping the culture and religion of the region. Then came the Majapahit Empire in the 13th century, known for its military might and extensive territories. It was a time of cultural flourishing with significant advancements in literature, art and architecture. The epic poem Nagara Kretagama, a jewel of Javanese literature, was penned during this era, reflecting the richness of Majapahit culture. In the late 16th century, the Mataram Sultanate emerged. It witnessed a profound shift in religious landscape, with Islam becoming more pervasive. The Sultanate became an important center for Islamic learning and art. It, its influence on trade was significant as it controlled the spice trade, which was the lifeblood of the region's economy. These empires didn't just rise, they also fell. Each one had its period of decline, marked by internal strife, external invasions and economic downturns. But their downfall did not erase their impact. Instead, it marked a transition, paving the way for new powers to emerge. These kingdoms and empresses shepherd the cultural and political landscape of Indonesia, laying the groundwork for the next era of colonial rule. Uh, what if foreign powers suddenly took control of your homeland? This was the reality for Indonesians during the colonial period. Imagine the year 1500, when the first Europeans Portuguese explorers set foot on Indonesian soil. The Dutch followed soon after, establishing the Dutch East India Company and eventually full-fledged colonial rule. These foreign powers sought to exploit the natural resources of the archipelago, transforming the economic landscape through the cultivation system, which compelled Indonesians to grow cash crops for export. This period was not just about subjugation, it was also a time of growing awareness and resistance. The seeds of nationalism were sown, leading to the emergence of figures like Sukarno and Hatta, who would later play pivotal roles in the fight for independence. The colonial era was a time of struggle and transformation, ultimately leading to the birth of an independent Indonesia. This chapter in history is a testimony to the resilience and spirit of the Indonesian people. Uh, imagine the joy and challenges of finally gaining independence after centuries of foreign rule. The dawn of independent Indonesia began on the 17th of August 1945 when the proclamation of Indonesian independence was read, marking a significant turn in the nation's history. However, the journey to true independence was fraught with struggles. The early republic faced the monumental task of uniting hundreds of ethnic groups 
each with their own languages and cultures into a single nation. This period saw conflicts and power struggles, but also significant progress in the nation's development. Moving forward into, into the 60s and 70s, the country underwent a series of transformations under different leaderships, each with their own visions for the country. Indonesia experienced periods of rapid economic growth, but also faced challenges such as political instability and corruption. Then came the era of reformation in the late 90s, characterized by a transition to a democratic system of governance. Today, Indonesia stands as the world's third largest democracy, a testament to its resilience and the determination of its people. Indonesia's journey from the proclamation of independence to a democratic nation is a narrative of persistence, resilience, and unity in diversity. From an archipelago of kingdoms and empires to a unified democratic nation, Indonesia's rich history shapes its vibrant and diverse present.